Cheers. Mmm. Pure health. Dear viewers, welcome to my life, I could say. <laughs> because um, it's kind of a special day for me. It's not kind of, it's a special day for me. Uh, which is surprising because uh, it wasn't planned to be special or significant. Uh, but it really is. So I decided to share with you some story connected to four pictures and two boxes. Uh, in order to, to do that uh, I have to I had to find my super old uh, box. Uh, this was the box with some candies, some, some sweets, chocolates. Uh, and my mom used to collect in this any like memorable things uh, for me. So it's all about myself when I started school and just everything that could be precious at it really is in my life. And then I also, uh, I was also, I had been collecting also some pictures, some letters here. And I want to show you uh, four pictures and just share my story because uh, because that's the best day today to to really do it so let's just start it first picture i'm gonna show you that's myself i was <laughs> i'm not sure how old i was maybe i was six or seven years old uh, and i really love my bike i wouldn't say i loved cycling because this wasn't shouldn't be maybe called cycling but I love my bike. You can see pretty much on my face the focus, you know, in the forest, just around the, our house in our area. I love cycling. I love the bike, and it hasn't changed. Even though there were many things in my life that stopped me from uh, maybe not cycling but training, which I loved the most. But I'm happy to be back, and that's the story uh, I'm gonna tell you. So this is me. For those who don't know me, my name is Daniel, uh, and I was super happy when I uh, I was sitting on my bike. No one, no one in the world had to encourage me to go out and do something. The problem was to get me back home when it was getting dark uh, in the summer. I really, really loved it, and it hasn't changed uh, over some years. Uh, when I'm uh, maybe six years older. I'm 12 here, 12 or 13. You can see that I could uh, just bike on any bike. This was my $120 uh, bike and wear just about anything and ride in any conditions uh, and have fun. This is uh, quite, uh, quite an interesting climb. You will definitely see me racing there and doing some some uh, some cool videos uh, there really cool mountains it hasn't changed and uh, when i was uh, 15 then i found this picture in the german uh, mountain bike magazine this one was called bike i think this is from bike yeah it is from bike that's their logo here bike right uh, and this is uh, you can guess who it is uh, this is a woman, by the way, and it is uh, the ad for Cannondale Super V Active working uh, when you sit, working when you stand. Anyway, this was so exciting for me and when I was, um, when I was just 15, 16, uh, I would head it just in front of my desk and it would motivate me to learn and learn and learn so that my parents would see they can support my racing because at that time I was racing a lot on my $120 bike, then $220 bike. And finally, my parents were, were able to, not to afford, but to actually uh, borrow some money from their friend and buy me my first Cannondale. That's 1997. I mean, the, the Cannondale, because the picture was taken in 1998. The bike was already super tired. As you can see, different uh, front wheel, different rear wheel. And the tires, my friends, the tires were IRC original ones um, and had around 10,000 kilometers. The bike as a whole had 20, 24, 25,000 kilometers, but I would use different tires. But these are the original. That's how, how difficult it was to afford 
different spare parts for the bike for, for ourselves and really racing was difficult due to that. Uh, so that was my dream and that was the year after two months maybe uh, after this picture was taken I went to the to the college and I stopped really uh, racing but uh, it was so difficult for me not to do it uh, and my my dreams were still there and I can tell you that this picture was still there and it still is now with uh, with uh, my family with me and my wife because it is so precious to me and today, when I was just pushing those two boxes here to the studio, I felt like this was a really significant moment. This was something special. I mean, you will see the bikes. Uh, it's nothing like, uh, you know, it's, it's not a miracle. But for me, it really is because um, after so many years, I came back to it last year in June, starting YouTube channel Polish one about cycling, then in November this one, Shy Bike, the international one, and I feel so happy about it. I really, really do. And next season you're gonna be able to see what I'm able as a 36 years old guy to do with those bikes. We have the mountain bike, super racing machine, and we have super duper uh, racing road bike here and I really feel special about it. I have to kind of spoil this, uh, this uh, story by just uh, telling you that this is not a sponsored video and the, the bike were, uh, are not sponsored, but I didn't have to purchase them. You'll just, you'll know everything about it. It's, it's a great story. Uh, I, I just love the story, this story, and you will see those bikes for the next months and next season on this channel with me in different situation we'll we'll just see uh, what we're gonna do in racing and training this is just a simple story but i like to ask you guys do you have the courage to keep your dreams like public somewhere this one was on the wall maybe on social media or just uh, anywhere what were your dreams and did you give up uh, pursuing uh, pursuing those i'm still in pursuit of uh, of my training and 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 racing and sticking to to what i loved being just small boy and no one had to teach me that uh, is the best thing i could do in my life short and simple story so share your thoughts in the comment section tomorrow and day after tomorrow and day after that and day after that you will see me doing crazy stuff with those two bikes and it will be very encouraging for you i'm sure about it so i can just say it so shall we open those no give me just this evening it's friday evening to cherish the, the moment and i'll see you tomorrow